Het Anker Main Blusser. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Booze Reviews. I've got another beer here from Belgium and I don't know what it is but I seem to have been inundated with beers and from Belgium lately and this one was very kindly got for me. Campo, really appreciate that mate, up the hammers. And this is the Main Blusser or Moon Extinguisher. This has got quite a funny a funny story behind it. It's from the Het Anchor Brewery and I've tried a couple of their beers before. If you, Before I go on any further, if you're wondering about the noise, it's Percy. Percy! What the fuck is going on down there? <laughs> He's a nightmare. I'll get him up in a minute. Um, Main Blusa is a beer from the Het Anchor Brewery. I've tried a couple of theirs recently. The uh, Good Carolus was a triple I've tried recently. Again, got for me by my mate Campo. Well done, mate. Really appreciated that. That was a good one. What I really liked about him, he just went into a beer shop because he he done the um, the booze cruise, if you like, to Belgium. Couldn't stay in Belgium. You just had to get your go over there, get your shit, and then come back again because of the coronavirus and all that but he went into a shop he just picked up some random beers and brought them all back i'd only tried two that he brought back but some of the others have been real diamonds there's been some real good ones hey percy keep it down mate <laughs> and you just see the fucking looks he's giving me but he brought this one back from uh, the anchor brewery and main blue as I said, it means moon extinguisher. And if you look on the, oh, if I can get it out there, that looks like a drunk fireman. And the reason that is, is because there is a tower in the region of the Anchor Brewery and one day there was a very red moon and this drunken fireman apparently thought that there was fog as well and he thought the tower was on fire and he called everyone to run to the uh, tower to put the fire out and then it turned out to be the moon. And they brewed a beer in his honour. But <laughs> I must admit, if I was a fireman, I would probably look like that too. Can you keep it quiet down there, mate? I'll, if you haven't met Percy, I'll just bring him up and show you. Right, this is Percy. Isn't it, Percy? Will you stop fucking eating my beer? And the microphone as well. Will you stop eating my beard, you little git? This is Percy. Now, normally he's got a normal shaped head, but when he sits on my lap, his head goes in the shape of a rugby ball. But you're not normally like that, are you, mate? Hey? Hey? He's a fucker. His farts could strip wallpaper. Anyway, more about the beer and less about Percy's farts. This is 5.8%, and it is a golden ale or a blonde ale, as they say. Am I boring you? Oh, his breath. Jesus. You get your dinner out of it. And uh, it's, it looks like quite an interesting beer. Now, if it's anything like the Golden Carolus, that was a really good triple. In fact, it was probably one of the, I wouldn't say the best triple, but up there with one of the best triples I've tried. And um, I'm hoping that this is going to be another good one because... Because I really have got onto a, a bit of a Belgian buzz lately with their beers and all that, and uh, I've been discovering some really good ones. Certainly some of the Christmas stuff is really good, and um, the blondes that I've tried as well have been really good. The lower alcohol, I've tried, well, it's not even a Belgian beer. Um, again, my mate Camp, I've got the uh, La Trappe Pur, which is their organic beer, only 4.5. 
4.5%, I think it was. That was a really good Belgian blonde. Belgian style blonde, I yeah. should say, because they're from the Netherlands. Can you smell the beer, Pers? What do you think of that? He would at all. He'd bite the top off that if he could. His little fucker. He would eat the steam off your shit, wouldn't you, mate? Right? Get out of it. <laughs> yeah, so it's a Belgian blonde. Never tried this one before. I've seen it advertised on Beers of Europe. I would imagine that he got that for a hell of a lot less in Belgium than Beers of Europe is selling it for. So let's stop gassing and let get, let's get this beer open. And let's put Percy down because you know what? You're a heavy little fucker. You've been eating far too much. You know that? I bet you've been fucking trying to get more beer and all, wouldn't you, mate? Hey? He don't give a fuck. He used to sleep on the bed, but he snores so loud. He's the only dog I know that when he's looking at you, he snores. He's wide awake and he's snoring now. Yeah? You mate, hey? Let's investigate this beer. Right, it's 5.8%. It's a 330ml bottle. It is a blonde ale, and 5.8% is about the average for that. They've called it a special beer. I think what they're trying to allude to there is that it's like a, a session type beer. There's no real indication on the website what's in the beer, like brew sheet wise. All it says is there's Belgian hops, and that's as far as it goes. So, Without further ado, and before my arm falls off trying to hold up this little fat fucker, let's investigate this beer. Right, get that cap off. That is the double anchors of the Anchor Brewery. Can you see that now? Fucking hell. I'm going to book this autofocus in for a a landfill for a week's holiday in landfill right this is the sort of glass it's supposed to be drunk out of obviously not a hat anchor glass oh he's gone back down there and uh yeah let's get it in there see what's going on whoa that is lively now this is top fermented so it's not a pilsner it's not a lager so let's see what's going on there there it is in the glass that is quite clear the head is huge, obviously. Wow, very hoppy. And they do, they do make a point about their beers being quite, quite hoppy. I don't mean American style hops, but it's very German style, North German style, very earthy and peppery and bitter. Smells quite nice though. Not much of the candy sugar. But it looks like it's filtered, or filtered to an extent. There it is in the glass, there's a little bit more left in there. That's very lively. What do you want? He's trying to jump up here now. You can smell the beer. You can fuck off, you're not getting no beer. That will kill you, that will. All right, we're getting on the nose. Yeah, a little bit of clove, a little bit of banana. But more of the hop character coming through than anything else. No sweetness at all. Oh, you're going to fucking destroy something, you little wrecking machine. Come on. I'm going to have to put him up here because he will just annoy me. It's nearly his dinner time and he knows. He's like a fucking clock. He is. Come on. Don't fucking jump up there. Sit down. Sit down and don't fart. There you go. Oh, what a nightmare. Look at that head. Look at that rugby ball head. <laughs> You're such a twat, you know that. Get out of it. Right, what are we getting on the nose? <laughs> We're getting foam. What do you think of that, Percy? <laughs> not impressed, fucking hell. <laughs> what a fucking twat. Right, this is what lockdown does to you. You have conversations with your dog. I've spoke to this dog more than I've spoke to my missus in the, in the last week. What does that say? Anyway, let's get this down the hatch. Mm. Bottoms up. Mm. 
Mm. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, I see what they mean about a drinkable blonde. That's been filtered, so it's quite easy going. The ABV is quite high, but it's like a very, very toned down blonde. And it's sort of putting me in mind of the La Trap Pur, which was like a, which was like a sort of a, a session blonde as well. And I'm sort of getting that from, from this as well. The ABV is quite high though, so this is a bit deceptive. Oh, that is really drinkable. We'll say that. Now I've got a little bit left in the bottle that I'm going to pour in here. I can't tilt it, so this is going to end up with a massive head. A bit like Percy, you've got a massive head, haven't you? State your red, mate. You're like a fucking rugby ball. What can you smell? What can you smell, Bass? <laughs> he doesn't like it. He doesn't fucking like it. He loves German bit. Get out of it. Oh, no, I'm joking, and I say this in all the videos. Do not feed dogs beer. The hops are poisonous to a lot of dogs. You shouldn't be feeding dogs beer. I never do it. I may joke, and, you know, people might think it's funny to feed dogs beer. Don't do it. You're doing them more harm than you're doing good. Anyway, enough about that. What are we getting on here? That's actually really good. But dangerously good. It's For me, that is a cross between a Pilsner and a Belgian Blonde. Where that's been filtered, and you may not think it because it looks quite cloudy, but the mouthfeel and the body are very much in keeping with a Belgian Lager or a, a German Pilsner even. But you've got that little banana and clove on there, so it's like a toned down version of the two. I imagine if you blended a North German Pilsner and a Belgian Blonde. Are you just... Come on, we're on telly. If you blended them two beers, then that would be, that would be the, the outcome, I think. And it's really drinkable. Yeah, very nice indeed. A bit dangerous, I will say. At 5.8%, that goes down very nice indeed. And when Percy has stopped fucking killing my mic, can you not? The, um, the mouthfeel on this is really good. And it just puts me in mind of a very summery type refreshing Belgian beer this is the sort of stuff you drink in a in a Belgian beer garden and uh, I'm really liking it it is a good one mmm that's really nice I have to say, and I'm going to stop there because this would go down very nicely indeed. The drinkability on that is, yeah, that's up there. And it's one of them beers that you could just drink five or six of, and it's definitely a contender for giving you Belgian legs. Do you want to go down, mate? You've got pug legs. You want to get down, didn't you? Or do you just want to nestle in my arm? <laughs> He's looking at the fucking lights now. Who knows what goes on inside the mind of this genius world domination? Is that what you're after? No, I'll put you down there, mate. Come on. Not literally put him down, but put him down on the floor. That's a real nice one. And as I say, if I was going to be drinking beer in Belgium on a hot day, I'd be sort of hunting this one down. 
and it would be just a ticket because it's very refreshing. It's got a relatively light body to your average Belgian blonde. The sweetness isn't big. I don't even know whether it contains candy sugar. Can't really get that much of the sweetness in there. There's a little bit of banana and clove. Quite a bit of hot bitterness on there. But it does put me in mind of a of a pills now. A cross between a pills and a blonde. Sort of a weak bodied blonde which is perfect for a hot day in Belgium. Now I know they're very few and far between, but yeah, me likey. So what's the verdict on Het Anker Manneblusser? Yeah, not bad at all. Very easy drinking, perfect summer beer for drinking in Belgium. You've got the you know, the, the essence of a Belgian blonde with the slight banana and clove, but you've got the body of a Pilsner and the drinkability of a Pilsner as well. And it's a mix between the two. As I said, it's, it's very much like a blend of the two. It's very light bodied Belgian blonde. And I like it, but you've got to be careful. It's 5.8%. So if you're nicking this, you've got to remember you're drinking nigh on six percent of beer now that don't sound much but you know you know what it's like when you get one of them lost afternoons you know where you're sitting in the sun with a few good mates and you're shooting the shit and you're talking crap and you know the beers are flowing and then all of a sudden you go to get up and all of a sudden you're <laughs> you're doing wall pinball but yeah I, I could see myself drinking quite a lot of that I'm going to bear this one in mind. This is quite a good one for not having too many, but if you don't want something a bit heavy, like, you know, like a double or a triple, that's a really nice one. It's got a nice feel to it. So, yeah, I'm impressed with that. I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10. I'm going to recommend it, but you've got to be, you've got to be careful when you drink it because, yeah, it's... I wouldn't say it's a session, Belgian session beer, but it's it's one of them beers where if you just want something a bit light, say you're having a meal or something, and you just want something a bit light, but you don't want to drink too much, but you still want to get you know a little bit of a buzz and all that, that's not too bad at all. It's it's probably one of the easier drinking Belgian blondes. So if you bear that in mind. It's like that, but it's got a little bit of a kick with 5.8%. <laughs> it's nearly Percy's dinner time. That's why he's giving it a big and Honestly, this lot are like clockwork. So I'm going to have to cut this short and feed him his dinner. Otherwise, he's going to fart in my general direction. He's sitting down there. He thinks I mentioned the word food. He's sitting there. <laughs> That's what he does. He's like Pavlov's, Pavlov's dog. He just sits down when I mention the word food because he thinks food is food anyway that's 8 out of 10 that's recommended that's a hungry pug that needs feeding and remember beer is working class champagne <laughs>